People judge your online store the second they land on it. And what's more is having a strong website design increases the perceived value of your product. So if you're not presenting visitors to your online store with the best e-commerce website design possible, you're literally turning away customers. Hey, my name's Ali, I'm a designer at Shopify, and today I'm gonna walk you through how to design your online store so that you can create a seamless and memorable experience for your customers. In this video, you'll learn techniques for customizing your Shopify store's theme and optimizing your content so that you can build your website the way that you want it. I'll cover the Shopify store design essentials, including picking the right theme for your brand, using theme settings to achieve the look and feel that you want, using meta fields to enhance your storefront with richer content, and finally, custom page templates. Welcome to Learn with Shopify. We're all about teaching you how to start, run, and grow an online business. Anything you want to learn about being an e-commerce business owner, you can find right here. So if that sounds like something you need in your life, hit subscribe. So let's jump into picking the right theme for your brand. The Shopify theme store has tons of free and paid themes to choose from. If you don't have a Shopify store yet and you'd like to follow along with me step by step, you can get a free trial on Shopify by clicking the link in the top corner of this video or in the description below. Today, we're gonna to be designing a store for these Shopify apparel products. And so right away, I'm gonna to head to the all theme section of the theme store and apply a couple of filters to narrow down my options. First up, I'm gonna check out the latest releases. Shopify is always releasing new free themes into the catalog and premium themes from our partners. If you already have a theme installed that you like and you want access to the latest settings and features, you may also be eligible for a theme update right from your admin. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pick clothing and accessories to filter these options down further. There's lots of great options here and depending on the kind of aesthetic, layout or features you might be looking for, there may be a specific theme here that makes sense for you as a great starting point for your store. Investing a bit of time at this stage is really valuable because if you can find a theme that's already set up in the way that you need it, either from a visual design perspective or content layout or both, it can save you a lot of time. Shopify Supply just dropped this new collection of products and did a photo shoot for them. And there's a free theme called Color Block, which is perfect for showcasing fresh collections as they come out. So we're gonna go ahead and install that. Using theme settings to achieve the look and feel that you want. Okay, so here we are in the theme editor with a fresh install of color block. And what's really nice is that it comes pre-installed with all of the sections and blocks that we saw in the demo store. So to make it really feel like our brand, the first place that we're gonna start customizing is theme settings. So go ahead and click on theme settings. There's a lot of different options in here to make the theme feel like your home base for your business and to really tailor the brand experience for your customers. So for this store, we're gonna change a few things. So first off, I'm gonna change the color palette. I'm gonna use black for the text, off-white for our first accent color, light blue for our second accent color, blue for our buttons, and then finally, we've got this really bright green for when we want a strong pop of color. If your brand has a limited color palette, you don't have to use all of these colors, and you can, of course, set some of them to be the same color. Or if you don't have a color palette yet, I definitely recommend checking out Coolers, which is a really useful tool for generating beautiful color palettes. So now in our sections, we can choose how we wanna combine those colors. So if we want this announcement bar to stand out a bit more, we can use that bright green that we set for background two by going into the announcement bar section, clicking on the text block, and then changing the color scheme. Heading back to our theme settings, there's a lot more here that we can customize. For our typography, Color Block uses Futura, which is a great typeface, but we're gonna go with something more neutral and change this to Helvetica. And then we're gonna bring the scale down a wee bit to 120%. So now it's really feeling quite different from those few changes that we've made. And there's a lot more settings here that we can tweak and play with if we want to. We can change the spacing of elements. We can change the corner radius of buttons. Every theme has its own options for customization. So you can really tweak the settings to get a look and feel for your store that feels great for your brand. At this stage though, I think it's useful to move on to some real content so we can really get a feel for how that's gonna be represented in our theme. So we'll move on to adding some of that real content. And I find that with themes, if there's something that drew you towards the theme in the first place, it's good to work within some of the constraints that the theme provides because constraints can be great for creativity. They give you boundaries to operate within. And for color block, the thing that prompted us to install it was the ability to prominently feature a collection with lots of imagery from that collection. 
And here we have the pre-installed sections that will help us do that. So let's go from the top here. Shopify is the entrepreneurship company. And one of the products we have here has entrepreneur written right across the body. So for our headline here, we're gonna go for entrepreneurship capsule. And for the description, a clothing collection designed for bosses like you. Okay, and we're gonna link right to the collection from this description. Something that's important to consider is the different device types that visitors will be using when they come to your store. So whether your customers are on their laptop or a mobile device, your store needs to look just as good as it did on the device that you used when you designed it. So to ensure that our site looks as good as it can on any device, we can modify the preview type right here in the storefront editor. And this is a seamless way to toggle between simulated devices and view your content exactly how your customer would. So we can see here that this copy isn't working perfectly across mobile and desktop. So we'll go ahead and edit it slightly. We'll then use the preview switcher to go between mobile and desktop views. And there, that's looking much better. And right after that, we have a collage section with three images in it. And this is where we can embrace the constraints we've been given and get creative within them. So what we can focus on here is the journey we want to take our customers on as they browse through this first part of the homepage and how best to tell that story with the assets that we have. From our photo shoot, the main two products on show are this green hoodie and the cream crew neck. So I think what is gonna work great is if we showcase one of the products in the first collage and then the other product in the second collage. And you'll notice that as I upload these products, the collage will adapt smartly to best fit the images I choose and it's also gonna crop them appropriately. So then moving on to this next section, what we've got here is a multi-column. And what's interesting about this multi-column layout is that there's only text in the second column and that creates this kind of offset effect, which is a nice way of breaking up your page. And all of Shopify's free themes have the multi-column available as a section to use. For the text here, we're gonna add a bit more color to the story of what makes this clothing special. So now for this next section, we've got two collage sections, one with two images side by side and one that goes full width. But we have an additional label detail shot that we'd like to get in here. And if we add it and upload it, it's gonna to default to adding the new image to the right here, which we don't want. So in the collage section, we can reorder these. And there we have it. We're prominently featuring this collection by combining a few sections together. So now we're gonna tackle something a bit more advanced and that's using meta fields to load dynamic content into our pages. And this is really powerful because what it does is allow us to have unique content for each of our products while using the same template. So let's take a look at the product template by clicking on the drop down in the header and selecting products and then default product. Okay, here's our product template. And you can see here that we have a few sections that follow the main product information section where we can add more content about our product. The suggestion here is to talk about the materials and care, which is the sort of information that customers of apparel stores really want to know. So we'll go ahead and follow that cue but we'd like some of the content for our products to be unique. The theme suggests that we could include some images here and we'll do that, but we'd like the images to be of the product that the customer is looking at. And depending on the material of the product, we'd like to suggest different ways of looking after your garment. So we'll start by laying out some of this real content for the product so we get a good feel for how it's gonna look. And this is where the preview inspector can be really powerful because we can go ahead and select each of these blocks without going back and forth between our columns. Our sweaters are made from 80% cotton, 20% polyester, and they're an athletic fit for a baggy feel. All of our products are washed and pre-shrunk. Machine wash your garments cold and tumble dry them on a low heat. Okay, so let's save that. And so we've got two pieces of content here that are uniform for all of our products. All of our products are pre-shrunk and they should all follow these washing instructions. But we have two columns here that we want to customize the content for each product. And we also have a space here that the theme is suggesting images for. And we'd like to use these images of the product that the customer is looking at. So how do we do that? Well, this icon here allows us to connect dynamic sources to our pages. And if we click on that, we're gonna get a prompt to add a meta field. So let's click that and it's gonna take us to our settings page and the meta field section. And meta fields allow you to define different types of information that are relevant to the products you sell and then customize it for each product. So let's walk through it to see how that works. We want meta fields for our products. So let's click on products. And then we're going to add these four definitions. First one, we're gonna call materials. We'll select a content type of text and then single line and that's it. Then we're gonna do the same for fit. And for the two images, 
we'll call the first one care image one and the second one care image two. So now when we go to any of our products, we're gonna have these meta fields available and we can populate them with our content. So for our entrepreneur sweater, we'll paste our content in and we'll add our two images of the product and then we'll go to our get stuff done hoodie and we're gonna do the same. So now when we go back to our product page in the editor, nothing's changed. And that's because we haven't hooked the content up yet. To do that, we need to select the content block that we want to be dynamic, click on insert dynamic source, and then select the right meta field from the list. Once we've done all of those, now when we look at each of our different products, they're gonna have unique content. It's pretty cool, right? Finally, we're gonna look at creating custom page templates. And this can be really useful if you have different types of products that you want different content for. So in the top bar here, we have a drop down where we can select which template we're editing. When we select product, there's the default template, but there's also an option to create a new template. So let's go ahead and click on that. So let's give it a name. I'm gonna go ahead and call it accessories. And then we're gonna hit create template. So now we have a copy of our product template and we're gonna go ahead and take out this materials and care section because we don't need it for these accessories. And we're gonna go through all the sections that make up that content and remove them. So this way for any products that we sell that don't have a materials and care section, like these accessories, we've now got a template for that. We also have a lot of great lifestyle images for our accessories. And instead of adding them to the vertical scrolling gallery here, we could choose to add a collage underneath. So when we add collage as a section, tweak our section settings, remove any blocks that we don't need. And now this is looking perfect for our accessories template. The last step here is to link to any products that we want to use that template. So we'll save this, we'll exit the editor, we'll go back to our backpack product and we'll change this theme template to be accessories. And so now when we hit save and preview this product, it's gonna be using our new template. So with these tools, creating different templates, hooking up meta fields, there really is a lot of flexibility in the way that you can present your products. So we covered some key ways to pick a theme and customize it so that it feels like your brand, and then use meta fields and custom page templates to build highly customized product pages that are hooked up to all of Shopify's dynamic content. And if you're just getting started, you'd probably benefit from knowing the time-tested steps needed to start a business. Whether it's finding a product idea, securing shipping, or marketing your product, consider this checklist guide on the Shopify blog. You can read it by clicking right up here or tapping the link down in the description below. And hey, if you got a little bit of value from this video, be sure to let me know by hitting that like button. And if you got lots of value, subscribe and hit that bell so you'll be notified the moment new videos like this one come out. Thanks for watching.